And Jesus is teaching, he's talking to people, the crowd is gathering, it's getting, you know, they get closer and closer. Maybe he's feeling a little claustrophobic, he needs a little bit more room. He asks Simon, put the boat out just a little ways where he can sit and teach. And he does that for who knows how long until finally he gets done, the crowd just begins to disperse. And he says to Simon, you know, I'd like to thank you for bringing me out here. Let's see, I will make you fish for men. Simon, James, and John, leave those boats full of fish and walk away to go after him. It's an amazing story. And the logical side of my mind wants to provide a backstory because unmiraculous encounter that utterly changed your life. An absolutely unmiraculous, everyday, ordinary thing that you look back on and see that it changed your life. You know, over the years, like, like injured, uh, so this is a non-competitive softball game and he got injured and he had a gash and was in for stitches and she walked in to introduce herself just to make sure that everything was okay and everything. And when she saw him, she said, I'm going to marry him. She was just, we have had our lives utterly changed by the chance encounter that Laura and Martha had with Jennifer those many years ago. And any number of people in this congregation continue to give individual financial support to the particular children who are in school or are at the orphanage. Um, it's these experience the horror of watching their friend executed, but they also had no idea that they would experience Easter morning and Pentecost. They said yes. You've said yes. I've said yes. You know, when I, I was baptized when I was an infant, so I didn't have a whole lot of chance to say no, to say yes to this great invitation. Amen. who give of their time and their energy and their creativity in a variety of ways. But today I want to say a special word of thanks to the members of the worship committee. Uh, COVID has changed the way in which we have worshipped. Uh, we began with an all virtual uh, worship service that was pre-recorded. Keep a sense of holiness about it while we have uh, found ourselves, I have now lost my communion stuff. Uh, <laughs> with the little pre-packaged, uh, you have it, okay, all right. I seek in all ways to give praise and glory to Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. So the Gospels show us about Jesus teaching, healing, and even to be their God. Through your servant Moses, slaves were brought to freedom. You have used kings, prophets, and common folk to remind people of your great love for them. But history also shows a people bent on turning, renew our strength, strengthen our resolve, and empower us to faithful and obedient service to our servant Lord. 
And now, with the confidence of the children of God, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, comes again. Friends, the body of Christ broken for you, the blood of Christ shed for you.